when I saw this question, I said, this is very reasonable. Looking at this, what raised to power of itself will give us seven? You cannot actually say that. Because if you say, let's see, be equal to one, okay? That means one to the power of one is equal to seven. But this is not true. So it simply means that t is what? Greater than one, right? Now, if we say, let's t be equal to two. 2 times 2 is not equal to 7 as well. Because 2 times 2 to the power of 2, sorry, is not equal to 7 because 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So it still means that t is what? Greater than 2. Now, if we say let's go to 3, that is, if we say 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27. So it is not equal to 7. So it simply means that t is less than 3. So what do we now do? It simply means that 2 is less than t, which is less than 3. This is what we have. This is the range of t. But we are asked to get the exact value of t. Now this is what we are going to do. The only way to solve this is to introduce a length to both sides of this equation. Okay? So we introduce a length. All right. So we introduce a length to both sides of the equation. So ln t to the power of t is equal to ln 7. Now, when you have ln a raised to the power of b, is actually equal to b multiplied by ln a, yeah? So, that means that we can write this as t multiplied by ln t is equal to ln 7. Now, I want us to remember... Yes, the Lamband of your function. Of course, if you have been my subscriber all this while, you know that something like this that we can algebraically get, that we can only use the Lamband of your function to get it. So, the Lamband of your function simply says that if we have a multiplied multiply by e to the power of a, and we apply the Lamband of your function, that the answer is a. So, in this kind of thing, we are going to manipulate this left-hand side and right-hand side to be in this form so that we can apply the number W function to get the value of t. Yes. So, let's do that together. Let's quickly do that together. So, look at what we have here. We are going to, first of all, when you look at that about W function that I just discussed, what we applied that for is this, a e to the power of a. Now, there is no e here. There is no e. But we can introduce e to this place. How? Because e to the power of ln a is equal to a. So, it means that e to the power of ln t is equal to t as well. Okay, so we are going to replace this t with e to the power of ln t. So we now write e to the power of ln t multiplied by ln t. This ln t is equal to ln 7. Okay, all right. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, please do that if you're actually enjoying this video. And click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell. If this, if this is the first time you are seeing us in this channel, okay? We upload our videos every day, two to three times every day. So tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And give us a thumbs up. Oh, I've said that before. Thank you. <laughs> so let's continue. So look at what we have here. Let's bring this to this side. So if we do that, we have LNT e to the power of ln t is equal to ln 7. Wow, are you seeing anything? This now is in this form, a e to the power of a, all right? Yeah, whereby our a is equal to ln t. Yes, that is our a. I don't know what this is. So that is our a, all right? So we can now introduce our lambda w function to get our ln t as our a, right? So let's do that. Now, if we introduce the lambda w function, we have the lambda w function to ln t e to the power of ln t is equal to the lambda w function of ln 7, right? Yes, so we are now going to get ln t as our answer for the left hand side. So we have ln t is equal to lambda w function of ln 7. All right, are you seeing anything? Okay, now remember the statement that I made. There is this statement that I made, and I said that e to the power of ln a is equal to a. Now we are asked to find t. That means the only way to get t is to raise this to give this the base e, okay? So if we put this in base e, we are going to get t, 
right? So if we say e to the power of ln t, we will now get t as our answer, right? So that's what we are going to do here. But we, know, we are not going to introduce base e to just this side. We are going to do it to both sides of this equation to balance it, okay? So we are going to introduce base e to both sides of this equation. So we have e to the power of ln t is equal to e to the power of the lambda w function of ln 7. All right, so this will automatically give us t to be equal to e to the power of the lambda w function of ln 7. All right, now we can also say that t is equal to e to the power of the product log, product log of ln 7. Okay, and this will give us an approximate value of 2.3165. Okay, yes, remember that from our when we were trying to analyze this, we got the value of t to be between 2 and 3. So, if you raise this to the power of itself, if you raise this to the power of itself, we are going to get an approximate value of 7, which means that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.